Okay, what I get here is a Strohvioline, Strohvioline, Resonating Fiddle. There's plenty of names for that instrument, and uh, I'm going to tell you something about the history of it. Uh, this thing, <laughs> this violin was invented um, last century by a German engineer who emigrated to London and was called John Matthias August Stroh. And this is why it's as well called Stroh violin. And uh, what that guy did was that um, they had the problem those times when recording uh, for the gramophones that the violins they recorded didn't, weren't loud enough actually on the, on the recordings. So uh, what he did was um, doing the same thing a gramophone itself does, namely um, using a resonator and uh, such thing uh, to make the noise coming out. And um, with this model we get here, you can as well see that from the bridge um, the vibrating strings, uh, um, strings put the sound onto this resonator. So uh, we have two, two places where it comes out to your ear. One is to the front, so to say the victim's view, if you stand in front of it, and uh, this is um, sort of a monitor, so you can hear yourself while playing. And um, if you compare it to the sound of a usual violin, uh, you will see that it's, it's got far more trebles. Not trebles, but trebles. <laughs> Where do we find these things still? Uh, you can find some in museums. If you're lucky, you can get them uh, secondhand. And of course, you can order the, these at our website, which is www.folkfriends.com. Um, well, and that's it. <laughs>